way by by popular demand. You got today the whole show hosted by none other than me, the Nature Boy. Woo! Dan Flair. We're gonna get into a lot of topics today about how Brad Holmes, how Dan Campbell can help bring the team back to the promised land in 2022. And we're gonna be styling and profiling all day long in today's Lions Talk Live. You know, our team came into 2022 looking for something that hasn't happened in five years, and that's a spot in the playoffs. But we were told through hard knocks, we were told through the media that this was going to be the year. The Lions bit kneecaps, tore into other teams, and try to host that championship belt. But let me tell you, well, here we are in the bye week, and we're one and four, and half of the fan base is already out the door. Clearly, they're not styling. Clearly, they're not profiling. And they don't have the Gators tap dancing on the floor. But I got some news for y'all, how we can right the ship. Let me tell you, coming out of the bye, Dan Campbell, you better be ready to play, brother. You better be ready to have this team going into Dallas, biting kneecaps, taking down opposing quarterbacks. And I've got a few thoughts on how we're going to make that happen. Before we get into how to make that happen, I need y'all to do me a favor. Help this channel go to the next level. Go to the promised land. I need you to drop a big elbow down on that subscribe button. I need you to look that like button dead in the eyes and hit it. Hit it hard, man. And I want you to, woo, style and profile all the way you tap dance up to that notification bell. So you'll know the next time Lions talk live content comes out hosted by no one other than the nature boy himself or by Dan Thornton. So here we go. We need to talk about John Kaminsky returning the team. Josh K Pascal and Jerry the Hitman Jacobs. All three of these dudes are going to hit the field running. And when they're down there and running, we're 100 miles and running at other teams' quarterbacks. Jacobs is going to help go alongside Jeffy Okuda and helping the defense not give up so many quick passes and allow Aiden Hutchinson and so many others that swarm down on the other team's quarterbacks. Now, I'm sure, as we all know, DeAndre Swift and half of the Lions offense have been injured the last few weeks. But now that St. Brown will be back, Jonah Jackson will be back, and today's birthday boy, none other than J Jared Goff, are going to help lead this offense back on the attack as we go all the way down, looking for everybody to party in Motown as we drop another touchdown on opposing defenses. So I think this is going to happen when we make some adjustments to that offense that didn't even bother to show against New England. We got to make sure we get a few more quick pass sets in. We need to make sure that our offensive coordinator can tell the difference between man coverage and soft zone coverage because that was definitely a problem when Billy, Billy Belichick came on down and broke up his man control playbook of our offensive coordinator and said, hey, you're the big time now. Then I got a question for everybody up in the fandom. I want you to go ahead and leave a comment down below. What do you think is the biggest issue facing the team right now? Because the Nature Boy thinks right now the defense is nowhere to be seen. The pass rush that we saw the first two weeks might as well went on the IR with Kaminsky and everybody else. Because it's been MIA for three weeks. Dan Campbell's under a lot of fire. But let's talk about Brad Holmes real quick. We all want a quick turnaround. But I'm sure we all know that Manny Patricia was, went ahead and spent all of our money in free agency on some bums who aren't even here anymore. So Brad Holmes, the big bad man calling the shots for D-Town, has been struck with a credit card that he can't spend any money on because all that money has gone. But come back in 2023, what is my personal belief 
you'll see a lot more Rolexes rolling up on the field. You'll see a lot more a limousine riding, gliding out of the defense. And we better, because let me tell you, we do have some young talent on this team, but we need a few more pieces to fix all this pie. If there's one thing I don't get about Dan Campbell and Braddy Holmes is what happened to our kicker from last year. Why did we put that kid on the wave of wire only to be tap dancing around with 50 other dudes on a regular basis trying to get him in here and see if this dude can kick or that dude can kick, whatever it may be. I'm almost wondering, is Danny the hitman Campbell? forcing himself to have to go for it on fourth and nine all the time because he knows whoever he trots out there to boot that ball is going to go nowhere fast with it. I mean, it's a com comedy of errors in the kicking game. And I'm wondering, is Motor City Dan afraid to kick a field goal because he knows he ain't got nobody to kick field goals with? Go ahead, leave your thoughts down below. Why, oh why, did we let Patterson go? And while I'm on a ranting and raving, while I'm talking about, woo, issues that are confronting our beloved team, let me tell you, Jared Goff, the first four games, you looked like you might be the man to be the team, to take the man all the way to the finish land and the promised land. Let me tell you about it. But whatever happened last week, as we had in yesterday's film review, you were late with every pass. You didn't look like you could read your way out of a phone book, brother. But let me tell you, if you don't write this ship real quick, all those people, all those fans in the stands are going to be born and turning you into the villain of this team. So whatever we got to do, we got to get this man back on track. Because I do believe, woo, Jared Goff can be doing a little styling and profiling leading this team, leading this offense into an upper echelon talent. But if Jared Goff keeps playing like he did in New England, ooh, he might be on the next boat out of Motown, and he might be wearing concrete shoes on the bottom of his feet. It happens. I'm sure as most of you know, we got the bye week. So the Lions Talk Live wanted me to let you know there might not be a broadcast Sunday. Because if it was a broadcast, it'd be a broadcast of nothing. So keep that in mind when you're planning out what to do on your day off during this season. Let me fix my glasses as I look woo, at the camera. Remember, this is the nature boy, Dan Flair, dropping wisdom and knowledge today only on Lions Talk Live. And I'm going to leave you with one last thought. If you like the channel, if you love the man, like I love the man, let me tell you, hit that subscribe, notification, and thumbs up button. If you got any ideas on how to lead this channel into another level, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And woo, I will see you while I'm styling and profiling out on town tonight with the missus. And if you are ready for next week's Lions Talk Live mailbag, make sure you leave some thoughts, some questions, some commentary, if you will down in the section below so I can respond to those. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow at Lions Talk Live.